Fifties Games. <laughs> hey guys, Matt here, and it is Sunday morning again, here on Paradise Island, and Chris is online apparently. Um, so my main goal today, I moved the museum, and I moved it back a bit, and I'm going to be decorating this area here. I kind of just started laying this out, but I have no idea what I'm... I have an idea, but I don't know how I'm laying it out. I want to have a good garden thing here. But first off, let's go ahead and talk to Daisy May. Daisy May, how are you? Come on, be cheap. Ah, oh, 103. Dang. Last week I bought them for 97 each, or 98 each, and then ended up waiting till uh, Saturday. The price was uh, 97, so I had a loss there technically. But. This week, I think I'll probably just buy them, and then as soon as it goes like over a hundred something, I'll sell them just to make sure I get some kind of profit. Um, let's see, buy the max. How much is that? Thirteen hundred. Um, is that the max like that I can fit in my pockets? Because I feel like I can pay more. Let's just do a thousand again. One thousand. That's what I did last week. 103,000 bells. Just gonna be sitting in my house all week. <laughs> but yeah, so... I mean, I know you can get up to like 400 something as the turnip price in Nook's Cranny, but... I didn't see anything... I think the highest I saw last week was like 141 or something like that. Which would still have been a profit, but I was... That's how the stock market goes. You kind of... Well, what if it goes higher? What if it... What if I can find 400 and then you end up finding 66 the next day? <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna put everything on my in my kitchen here, like I did last week, and it makes it look a little worse. But oh well. I actually the Happy Home Academy came this morning, right after I upgraded my house last night, and there's. Uh, top floor now that is completely empty, so I'm guessing that probably lowered my score because I only got a B. Because they're probably like, oh, he didn't even decorate this upstairs. What a loser. But it's kind of cool. The second floor is actually, like, this is a perfect square right here, and then the second floor is like a rectangle. Which has never been like that in past games. It's always been the same size as the downstairs, I'm pretty sure. So this is kind of cool. Gotta decide what I want to put up there. I was gonna say, uh, I mean, I guess I could still make it like a bedroom, but just have it like a really cool bedroom with like a bunch of who knows what. <laughs> oh wait, hang on, I want to be back in there. Sorry. I want to go back in my house because I got a bunch of... Austin's online as well. I have a bunch of like stone stuff that I've been getting just DIYs for. And I want to use that for my little garden thing for the museum, so where is that stuff? I want to use this, the well, the flat garden rock, and the mossy garden rock. But like I said, I still don't really know exactly how I'm doing the paths. I want to probably like a middle path going straight up to it with some stuff kind of like intersecting and whatnot. And then I'll have like flowers all around it and a couple trees and these rocks and stuff and then I also do I want to put this directly over to here maybe I want to lower it one so it can go right here but then I want to I think I want to have all the way down here I moved all the flowers down because I had the flowers right here around the fountain but I want to put the little stone arch at the bottom somewhere down here but again, that kind of messes things up. Because I didn't realize that the doorway here was three wide. Because see, if I do just two wide for the doorway, it kind of doesn't look right. And it's kind of annoying. But I'll see what I can make of this. Wait. Alright, um, see, I'm on. I'm using Dark Dirt Path for this. If I do this. Um that. You see it can either line up right there or it can line up like this. But I can't really get it too straight. That's kind of annoying. 
And I don't think I wanted just one, because that's even weirder to me. But maybe what I can do... I think I know. I think I'll put... Down at the bottom here, I'll connect this path that's all the way over here. I'll bring that straight over, because that's two by two. And then I'll go like over to here. And put the stone arch right here. And then have the path go up like that. So that'd be kind of cool. I think I can dig that. Maybe I should put stone arches at every intersection of it. Or every, like, entrance to it. That'd be kind of cool also. Um, so what do I want right now? Like, I think I was going to maybe put the well over here. Let's see. Where is the well? There it is. Simple well. And put it right here. And then move it down. See, that's not bad. And then I think I want to do the same thing here and just go kind of down like that. Does that look cool or... I don't know. Dark dirt path. Does it make this better if I go like this? Probably not. Oh, that's not bad. I would feel like I should probably have something here then. Like, maybe... I don't know. I kind of want to put, like, fish or bugs just, like, in their tanks and cages outside here. That'd be kind of interesting. Do I have any on me right now? I have a peacock butterfly. Maybe just put that right here. Oops. Place item. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. I think I like that. And then we'll do the same thing down here. How far over did I go? I went one, two, three, four, five. Is that what that is? Yeah, I think so. So one, two, uh, that's just one, two, three, four, if I can just move that tree. I don't really care about those rainbow balloons anymore because they keep, there are the stupid sky eggs every single time and I have too many of those. I'm going to get this fossil though. I haven't dug up any of my fossils this morning. Oh, of course, it's a wood, or a earth egg. I don't know why I said wood. Uh, I don't want to pick up that flower. Yeah, I didn't dig up any of my fossils yet. I don't think I... No, I did not find the gold spot. Um, since I have a bunch of eggs, let's go ahead and eat one of these stone eggs so I can dig up this tree. I do like in this game that you can, like, dig up the trees and replant them because in the past games it was like you kind of try to plan things out, but you plant a new tree and it's just like, well, I don't know how that's going to look when it grows, but now you can just take it right over and grow it immediately. But it also gets me to the point where I just I'll dig up a tree and then have it in my pocket for like two days because I don't know what I want to do with it. And you can't put the trees in your storage or anything, so it makes it harder. Uh, should that be like that? Or is it better having it even? I think it might be better even. I kind of thought I might like it staggered, but I think it's better like this. And then get rid of that top row. Come on. Go over here. What else do I have that I haven't done this morning? Um, let's see. I haven't... What haven't I done? I haven't... I've done most of it. I sold most of my stuff from last night. Wait, why did I just do three across there? Um, I also have the fountain still that I need to find a spot for. I might put the fountain like right in the middle here. Go like this. But I'm also, I'm also going to put down a path underneath it so this won't be permanently here for right now. Was that another? Yeah, another rainbow one. Don't care about it. It's not even really rainbow. It's Easter colors. Um, let's go ahead fix this again. Did I want to move this down like I was saying? I think so. But for now, this will go here. Nope. I'm always digging up stuff. It's not very easy to do this. I wish... I kind of wish, like, in your house you could turn on the grid to know exactly where you're putting stuff. But also, it's like, eh, does that kind of ruin the feel of Animal Crossing? Uh, golden Slingshot. I do want to get this one. I want to drop it right into the fountain. 
But I do want the yellow one, because that gets up something good. I think it's going to be bells, though. Which is fine, because I just spent 100,000. It is... Ooh, a water cooler. Nice. Where can I put that? What does that look like? Okay, um... Hmm. Not sure if I have a spot for that yet, but... I can think of something. Because I kind of wanted to make, like, a workshop area somewhere in my house. So I might do that. Uh, let's see if I can find those other fossils. I know I ran, ran past a couple already. I'm just kind of distracting myself from that museum because it's going to take a while. So I'm going to work on that a bit off camera. Work on it probably for a few hours off camera because it's going to take a while. And then I'll kind of update on it in the next video. Yeah, let's get all these fossils if we can. Because I know I saw a couple straight up here. There's at least one more. Over to the left, yep. I'm gonna miss if I stand here. Oh no, I'm not. Sweet. Alright, I dug up a fossil. The weed over here. I also, it's kind of funny, I... Now that I connected the river here and made this not an island, it's like weird to say, but I'm like, oh, I kind of missed that island. I kind of wanted to do something with it, but I can always just redig it if I really want to do something with it, but I was just like, oh, that's... It made it kind of unique. Now it's just like a little river that goes down into the both sides. But it's still cool, so... Um, did I see any other... I don't think I even ran over this way this morning. So I don't know if, I, if there's any fossils over here. Um... Here might be one, or is it going to be an earth egg? Yep, earth egg. I did... Ooh. Okay, there's two things over here. One of them's got to be a fossil. Maybe both of them. I bet the other one will be an earth egg. And... Yep, knew it. Uh, but yeah, I put in another incline over... Okay, there's the gold spot. I'll remember that. Over to the right. Oh, I couldn't tell if that fish was a balloon shadow or a fish. Over here next to Sterling. I haven't shown off Sterling's house in a video. And it's really cool, so I kind of hope he's home right now. Let's see. He is sweet. His house is crazy. Crazy and a little weird. Look at this. <laughs> Literally a prison. And when I left him last night, he was working out. Now he's working out again. Last night he was down, like, working out in the playground. <laughs> hey, Sterling, what's up? Relax and make yourself at home, Scraw. He's gonna... Oh, you hear about Austin's extremely sweet title yet? It's weak trash. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I've call, I'd call my muscles, except Austin's whole body is called... <laughs> Yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate, but I don't know why you'd call your own muscles weak trash. Um, I like how he has like the key hanger over there. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Like it actually goes with the um, prison theme. I think these candles on the wall were in my shop yesterday. Daisy is selling at 90 here. Okay. I already bought him for 104, so. It's also, what time is it? 11.26, so we got a half hour to get there, but yeah, I already bought him. Um, and see, I put this incline here up to Knox's house. Is Knox home too? Nope. I can't even knock on the door. I just ended up putting this because I felt like, I don't know, up to here it seemed better with a natural cliff or natural incline. I kind of liked the one of the like wooden stair ones, but the natural is pretty cool. Another wood egg. Let's just run across the top of this cliff and that'll probably be the end of this video. Like I said, I'm gonna work on the museum garden area for quite a bit. And yeah, we'll end it here. Deez. Hey guys, well that was a pretty fun video. If you guys like that, go ahead and click up above. If you wanna watch another one or you wanna subscribe, I'm going to be uploading a bunch more, so get ready, subscribe, and it'll let you know when I post them. See ya.